The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your I host. That. I I did it. No, I kind of. Really, can we try one more? Was, I really need it. It's today. half-assed. It was a half-assed. Was What's really, up, everybody, and welcome back to the go. Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, aka Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he loves penises and hates <laughs> chicks that uh, like vaginas. Please welcome Mr. JP. Great to be here. I know. On a Sunday. Love it. Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner. Please welcome back Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Yeah, they got real loud there. On the Lord's Day. On the I'm Lord's here. Day. I know. Oh my God. I can't I, I had a sermon to give. Do you? I did. Oh, would you want to? I had to can't no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't. I, like I left to hear it at home. Part of it at least. Uh, well, okay. We Let's could just probably say he does not agree with your lifestyle. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's good shit. Well, uh, well as soon well. as you said he. Yeah, no kidding. Uh-huh. Wrong. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have an excellent show for you today. No, he's got a big old hog on him. <laughs> <laughs> JP's jealous. Uh, but we have an excellent show for you today. We've got headlines, never have I ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas, the draft, and as always, a shitty situation to wrap this up. Uh, but we're going to tell you what happened to us over the last week. Uh, Jeremy hasn't been here. Well, Jeremy's been here yeah, uh, pretty recently, so ago. it's not yeah. that bad. Uh, but we're going to kick this off with the most anticlimactic person on the fucking face of the earth. Please welcome back, Mr. JP. What do you got, buddy? No, nothing, man. Not I didn't do anything guy. new. I've only it's been three days. It's been three days. Right, yeah, so, I know. I, I know. Mean, I don't do anything weeks upon weeks, but yeah. then you expect me to do something different in three days. Hey, I just man. worked a lot. I just worked a lot. Yeah. Okay. I uh, worked a lot. Still walk uh, sugar. No. Not yet. One more week. One I think. Mo- one more week. What, okay. Are you doing his podcast now? What sugar? Sugar. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh God no. <laughs> no, that'd be no. that'd be a hell of a move if you it? left this podcast to go there. To go there. Right. Yeah, yeah. That, that's I wonder if a, he still uh, does it. Uh, surely not. Uh, okay. I wonder if he's still alive. Surely not. That fucker had. <laughs> I mean, he. We're talking about a guy who yeah. literally drank a liter of Wellers a night. Yeah, dude. For fun. Good on, on a regular night. For fun. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Bingham had a question for you. Oh, yeah? He wants to know, what is the most embarrassing thing you've ever been caught doing because you thought you were alone? I'm so scared of your fucking answer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> is this really the way you want to start the podcast <laughs> hey, out? let's kick it off with something. Come on. The most embarrassing thing you've ever been caught yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Don't we have a segment for shit like this? <laughs> I t- well, it was just a specific question for Man. JP. Oh, for JP, okay. Yeah, yeah it was, that, that's the whole thing. Probably fucking my boyfriend ah! when got caught. <laughs> my, my, I didn't know anybody was home. Right in the asshole? I was, well, one of us. <laughs> okay. Uh, and my mom walked in. Oh. I told you that story. Oh, God, yeah, you did. Oh, and yeah, you uh, did. That was yeah she saw old stuff new side to her baby boy <laughs> and uh, she did not care for oh it my God. at all please at least tell me you were out of the closet at this point oh yeah she oh, knew okay. i was gay uh, okay. she didn't know i was that gay oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she, she just thought you were into show Dude, tunes i have never seen Whoa. that woman run <laughs> like i did that night wow i mean clear across the house back to her room shut the door and just yelled through the door i don't want to talk about it jason <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking great. at the same time what's the response supposed to be that's that's just i think no it was what a, a mom res- yeah w- should do yeah. I mean, even if you were fucking a chick i feel like 
It would have been cooler if she had just went and got us a towel and said, now clean up afterwards, boys. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what Maybe, I mean? Yeah. Like, I feel like that's another way to go. I don't want to have to pick up your messes. Right. Uh, I think that's one way to go. Oh, man. But, yeah, I got to say, I like, okay, I'm straight. My parents knew I was straight. If they walked in on me fucking a chick, I would hate to think they'd be like, all right. <laughs> okay. He wasn't kidding. He I'm gonna, really. <laughs> I'm going to pull up a chair. No, nah, I don't know about it. Just watch. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't. I don't, know. I don't, I don't think I, don't I would care, care for that. I don't think I would like the fact that they were cool with the idea of walking in on me having sex with anybody. It's like right. the idea of OnlyFans. Only it's the old version, right? Yeah, Where you just, you just yeah, have pulled the chair. Uh-huh. Lucky, yeah, yeah. exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Unwilling fans. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> they have to root for you. They're, you're their parents. They're, they're your parents. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they can't well, they not be signs in your corner. And had those foam fingers, and that would be fucking pretty dope. Go JP. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Cool. That would actually I didn't want to see it, but boy, am I proud of him. <laughs> yeah, proud of him. <laughs> That's my boy. Uh-huh. He did it. He did it very well. You were the best in your class. Oh, oh man, goodness. goodness gracious. Yeah, that's probably it. I think I I forgot to mention that this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult. What if there was some <laughs> asshole who still thought this was a legit sports <laughs> podcast? Yeah. yeah, I know, right? There's got to be a one out there somewhere. At this point, it's just, I mean, like, we still get messages all the time where they're just like, oh, talk about this. And I'm just like, I don't. I, like, what do you anymore. think about TCU hiring yeah. a new assistant coach? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> who cares? Yeah, yeah, it gives a shit. <laughs> that, I don't. That's what I think about it. I don't think about it. I don't give a fuck. Uh, but yeah, anyways. All right. Well, JP, I'm happy that you're you're here. Uh, yeah, me too, man. Jeremy Joseph, how was your week? A uh, week and a half. week and, and a half. Who does anything in a week and a half? Really nothing. Jeremy Joseph builds shelves and shit in a week and a half. I haven't even done that. No, he's that. scared of his power tools now. Mm-hmm. He's, we he's have, trying to kill him. Uh, here's what really angers me that i don't have stories and it was garage sale weekend last week oh no i mean we didn't even get like intrusive people yeah uh what we did get a lot of (laughs) was one christmas trees (laughs) (laughs) yeah how many how many christmas trees? let's go to this house they always have good christmas stuff oh yeah they're never for sale (laughs) never for sale (laughs) we ordered all of that yeah As oh, far as I'm man. concerned, if she would just leave for a half hour, <laughs> I could move so much shit. Yeah. But according to her, it's not for sale. Oh. And apparently she vetoes everything. <laughs> yeah. And here, okay, what we found out, because we, we thought this was a good exercise to work on the dog's discipline, mm-hmm. right? And so a lot of dog people come, and, and the dog would go up and greet them nicely, but then they would be like, come on, come on. No, no. <laughs> motherfucker! We paid a lot of money to get him to quit doing that shit. Um, people are probably sick of hearing about my fucking dog, but I got another thing about it. Found out he's good at beer pong. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Uh, I take him up to the the dog park, and it's mostly grass, but in the middle there's like this concrete patch with. They got a whole bunch of water bowls, and they're all playing beer pong. Well, I, I'm getting to that. So I'm they, they got all these water bowls out, right? Uh-huh. And I'll throw like a tennis ball for him, and he goes and gets it, but he runs right past me to this concrete patch, and once he gets to it, he takes it and bounces it, and he can land it in the bowls probably two out of five times. What? But it's very clear that's what he's trying to do, because if he misses, he picks it up and puts it in the fucking water bowl. <laughs> and... But he does it every time. Wow. Yeah, it's fucking cool. That is cool. If we could get a couple more dogs to do that, we could have a fucking tournament. We could have a par- tournament. Yeah. Uh, this shit's going to be on ESPN, the Ocho. You if know, I could get him to throw cornhole. <laughs> that's oh. what I was just getting ready to say. If we can, if we, I mean, he could probably trans- transfer those skills. Oh, probably. Yeah. Into cornhole. I mean, there's no rule says a dog can't play. That's true. No. No. That, that'd be the new Air Bud movie. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> cornhole Bud. <laughs> <laughs> I think bud. I've seen that movie. Oh, Jesus Christ. That'd be great. I'd love that. They're literally combing through the rule book. Yeah, there's no rule says no the dog rule. can't play. No, 100%. Uh, anything else? Have you watched anything? Oh, God. Did yeah. you watch the repair shop? I tried. Okay. Uh, but I watch it in bed, and that shit, that's better oh, than ambient. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it puts me out. It will. I, it really does. I got a message from a listener uh-huh. of the show. And he is actually from the town 
that what? two of the characters no and way. knows them personally. Dude, are tell me oh that they're amazing. God. Oh my god! And it's the characters. The, it's, are they? Oh, it's no, they're not. not okay, two okay. of the people. I was gonna say. I but, thought they were. And they're my favorite. They're the they're the two people that I love the most. Mm. The watchmaker and the leather uh, gal. I don't know. Oh. She, she fucking. Oh my god. Fucking watchmaker. I guess I haven't seen that guy yet. Oh, but fucking watchmakers. Dude. And he's any, They're amazing. Anything, anything mechanical, the dude just figures it out, if, fixes it, and he's apparently a good guy. If you can make watches, too. you can fix anything. Oh, 100%. I prefer the baker and the candlestick maker. Uh-huh. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Not I did. Uh, okay. My shoe, the, the rubber sole on the bottom started to come loose, so I glued it. So I guess you're technically that makes now. me a cobbler. You're a cobbler yeah. now. I should be on that show. <laughs> you should, yeah. Dude, that's pretty impressive. You should have led with that. <laughs> <laughs> See, oh, I guess speaking of British shit, okay, I watched a documentary. Do you know who the Cray Twins were? That sounds familiar. Um, there was a movie that came out a couple of years ago called Legend with Tom Hardy. Okay. Where he played both of, of the Cray twins. They were in the 60s. They were these British crime lords uh, that were identical twins. Uh-huh. They were both raging psychopaths, but one of them, on top of being a psychopath, was also a uh, paranoid schizophrenic and bipolar. So he was basically just a fucking rabid dog that would kill anybody for no real reason wow. at any time. And, like he'd get pissed off if things weren't violent enough. He, Jesus Christ. And, uh, but I tried watching this documentary where they were interviewing all these old fuckers from back in those days that worked with them and for them and all this shit. And they all had those thick, mumbly, cockney British accents. Mm, I couldn't oh, under- They yeah. were speaking English, but I don't know a no. word they were saying. <laughs> yeah, just, right. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty actually. good. Actually. And... and Apparently, the guy conducting the interview got all that. Yeah. And he's like, oh. <laughs> oh, so that's what happened. Okay, that explains why. Yeah. I've been told, like, the more north you go in on the, uh, like, UK island, like, the less, the, you, understand. less you fucking yeah. understand. Because they get up north, and it's like the Scots, and they have that fucking, oh, and you can't fucking hear a fucking. Oh, word. I bet I understand I, that. Yeah, I, I, I could probably yeah. pick that right up. Uh, I'm sure you could. I was always under the impression that in England there was London and not London, <laughs> and apparently there's more to it. than oh, that. 100%. I, yeah. Like I always thought that like Liverpool and towns like that that they were just like outside of London, just right outside of London. <laughs> I guess not. I guess I don't care. 100%, yeah, it's I mean, the same way I thought too. And and to me, they all sounded equally nonsensical. Oh yeah, but just pompous yeah but no apparently there's a whole sect of them that speak english but don't yeah and i don't like it and it's like it, and and the island itself is like the size of like illinois and missouri together like that's how big it's not yeah. very big All right it's insane uh but that yeah that was your week yeah pretty Perfect. much okay All right. pretty much all right well i'll kick off my week i got a call uh on uh, friday afternoon uh from my wife and i didn't know it was my wife i got a phone call from a number and and my phone is set up where if i don't know the number it goes straight to voicemail but i got three phone calls from the same number didn't know who it was and i'm like what the fuck is going on so i have my i'm at work and so i have my computer and i type in the number and i and it was my wife's work and i freak out and i'm like oh shit something is going wrong so i call that number Mm mm-hmm and uh, I get uh, the receptionist. She gives me to my wife, and I and I can hear my wife when she answers the phone, and she is hysterically crying. Mm, that's mm. not good. And I'm going, what the f-? like? All of a sudden, my defenses are coming yeah. up, going, what the fuck is going on? And I can hear her. She is actually on the other line on her cell phone. Did she figure out she's married to you? <laughs> Finally, <laughs> Finally. Yeah. That yeah. I was kind of wondering the same Holy thing. Shit. Uh, I know. Uh, but no, I can hear her. She's on the phone with a person and, and they put her on hold and she finally comes on the phone with me. I go, what the fuck is going on? She goes, this guy has called me. She's crying. And she's like, this guy has called me and has told me that I have a warrant out for my arrest and, uh, for not appearing in court in Cheyenne County, Kansas. Let me guess. He'll take care of it for 150 bucks. Oh, no. And, and Gives I'm, you another number to call? Yeah. He comes back off a hold, and I'm not oh. even lying, guys. I could hear his high-fade oh. haircut through the oh. phone. This is a military-sounding dude. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, 
oh, fuck. And so obviously I'm like trying to pick things apart. And my wife, for all of her credit in the world, is asking the correct questions. What's your name? What's, what's you know, your boss's name? What's your badge number? Give me all of this shit. And, and while crying. And so uh, they put her on hold again. She is in full panic mode. And I completely understand. She's already wrapped up into it at this point. And uh, she gets on put on hold, and she tells me, she goes, do you have any friends who are cops? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck, yeah, I do. So she asked me, she goes, call, <laughs> call somebody, figure out if this is legit or not. So naturally, I call a good friend of mine. His name is Tim Baird, and he is for the city of Wichita. He's a, he's a police officer. And I call him, and I tell him the story, and he goes, in Cheyenne County, fucking Kansas? And I'm like, yeah. He goes, do you want me to call the sheriff's office? And I'm like, sure, go ahead. And he's like, okay. Uh, I said, you want to call me back? And he's like already dialing. It's like he had a, like a fucking speed dial. Like just pushed mm -hmm. a button and started calling this motherfuckers. And I can hear the fucking uh, person answer the phone. And, and basically he asked the basic questions like, listen, do you, have you had any court case that needs jury duty over the last three months? She's like, no. Nah. No, not even close. And he goes, well, do you have a federal court in, in Cheyenne County? She's like, no, not for the last 10 to 20 years. I don't even know. And he's like, okay. So we get on the phone and back with me and he's like, all right, it's definitely a fucking scam. Call your wife and tell her that it's okay. And just hang up on him. And I call her back and I said, you know, it's just really weird. They haven't asked you for any money yet. And she goes, well, while you were on the phone with Tim, he asked me to go to Walmart, and I went, ah, oh, fucking hang up the goddamn yeah. phone. And so that was <clears throat> the whole situation. She was apparently going to be arrested if she got pulled. Oh, God, it was such a mess. And then once she figured it out and stepped back and saw it for what it was, she obviously calmed the fuck down, and it was okay. But that, I, if I ever find that motherfucker <coughs> that called oh, my wife. Oh, good luck. You're going to have to get on a plane, and I you're going to have to fly right? over a lot of water. It is insane. I would beat the fucking shit out of them. It, it, I have never been that so upset in my entire life with those fucking people. This, so this, who this. would you rather have in a room, that guy or the fucking native grass guy? <laughs> Ooh. That's tough. What's the native that's, grass guy? That's tough. Oh, you don't know about the native grass native guy. Native grass guy is up there. <laughs> guy, guy interrupted my golf game uh, to tell us that we drove over native grass, and he threatened to, to to basically tell us we couldn't come back to that golf course ever again. No, I would I would probably beat the fuck out of that guy first, and then uh, but put them both in the fucking room at the same time. I'd beat the fuck out of them. Oh, I was they, so at, mad. At the end of the story. Did, did this guy have any authority to kick you off Fuck the board? Fuck no. He didn't have shit. And, and by that, did he mean like marijuana belonging to an Indian? Uh, probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't you, know. You shouldn't have driven over that. Just, I mean, yeah, it was well, probably in a baggie. Probably. Um, but anyway. Yeah. This is a, a good public service announcement just uh -huh. to people. Uh, anytime, if you're served with a warrant... It, they will never call you. Yep. They will never email you. Yep. I also, I, I, I'm very close to someone who works for the IRS. The IRS will never call you or send you an email first. They will always send a letter to your house. Yep. If you ever get an email or a phone call from somebody saying they're with the federal government and you have not received a letter first, it's, it's a scam. They are full of shit. Yep. Yeah. So. At all times. <sighs> man, I, uh, I, I have not been that upset after that whole sit situation since the native grass incident. I but, get that. Somebody fucks with your wife like that? Yeah. Uh, and the fact is, is that how emotionally distraught she was. Well, I'd hit her for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking grow a pair, lady. Oh, Atta man. a kid, Harrison. Oh, it's, shit. It's, I was so have Harrison you, Bucker, ladies and gentlemen. Have, have, man. Have you just driven her to the point of breaking <laughs> so, like, the least little thing <laughs> drives her over the edge? No. She's just going to break at any time. I'm telling uh, you. Her shoe comes untied, and she's just lost it. Ten years, two months. I'm, I mean, ten years, three months. I it, mean, it's, it's right at it's that close. mark. We I'm gotta telling get, you. We got to get to, to uh, November. Once we get to November, or yeah. no, not November, September. September, we then get it, to, then it's ten years. Then it's so. any day then after that. Oh, uh, man, I'd, I'd kill a motherfucker. But, yeah, that, that was pretty much the rounding up of my week was that fucking phone call, and I, yeah, that's that. 
Uh, but I want to give a shout out. Uh, Tim, I believe it's pronounced Gin. He's having surgery. He wanted us to give him a shout out. And so good luck with that. What kind of surgery? I didn't ask. Him. Okay. Um, dude, here's the thing. <laughs> He's transitioning, I think. Tim Gin. <laughs> yeah. Um, having surgery. It literally just says Tim Gin having, having surgery. surgery. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know. It's hey, you're a fan of the show. That is awesome. I hope sex it's change. A, I, ho- I hope it's not. I hope it's not a life threatening surgery. Uh, we'll give you a little shout out, and uh, we hope you get through it all right. Yep. Tim Ginn surgery. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Next. I mean, <laughs> like, the, the, what? Sorry. My whole thing is that's your fucking problem. <laughs> Why? What good is a shout out on this show going to do for you? It's going to make him feel really good. And not only that, what is this going to open us up to? I don't know. No shit. What surgery? What if the doctor listens to this and now he's all distracted, <laughs> being like, "Hey, I'm listening. To this. this is the surgery I'm doing," and then he cuts an artery or something. Yeah. yeah. He nicks your bowels. Yeah. Oh, it turns no. out it was foot surgery. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Because <laughs> nobody listening to this show has good insurance. Uh, I promise that. Yeah, I promise that. Good, good possibility. But I anyways. have a good feeling that most people who listen to this are unemployed. I don't know. That's not true. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Yeah. I think they are employed. They're probably not gainfully employed. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How, however many people you pay to listen to this, <laughs> right? You, I guess you probably hired him at like a Home Depot. Yeah, <laughs> drives up in a truck. Listen, I will pay you all a dollar just to download this podcast. You don't even have to listen; just download. Do you guys Spotify? Yeah. Uh, but Nick Poirier also wanted to ask uh, you, Jeremy, what's uh, what's going through your head right now? Right now. Oh God, how much I don't want to be here. <laughs> I figured that's what it was. Uh, Why but, am I here again? Uh, voluntarily, in fact. It's been less than two weeks. I right. know. It's crazy. What do you mean voluntarily? You did it voluntarily, didn't you? No, I got a call from somebody <laughs> saying they had a warrant for me. And the only way. <laughs> the only way to get out of it. Yeah, yeah it was to do the show. To do the show. On okay. a Sunday. That's fair enough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now we can move on. He knows I'm a youth pastor. (laughs) Yeah. We can move on to headlines. Uh, We did have quite a bit go on, uh, but the first thing that probably pops up on everybody's fucking feed is the number one ranked golfer in the world, Scotty Scheffler, is arrested before the PGA Championship round two at Valhalla. That was... uh, yeah, you know. Yep, P. Diddy's still running around here yeah, loose. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what's going on We're here? We're arresting Scotty Scheffler for a, a traffic violation, and I think he did do, like, resisting arrest or well, something look, bro, like that. He but, went around but, a fatal accident scene. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know the story behind this. I didn't even know who this guy is. He care. went around a fatal accident scene. Okay. And hit a cop. Well, he didn't hit him. No, he hit him. Uh, he he prob- grazed him. Okay. With well, his car or his With fist? his car. Okay. With his car, it was like should have hit him hard. That'd be awesome if it was like a I imagine like it. a modified version of mailbox baseball. By oh, the cop. yes, yeah. yes, that'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, and the cop didn't recognize who it was because I could totally understand why they arrested him. A- a- even that, just even grazing a cop, I can I can get that, well, dude. You were probably told not to it was, go. You no, know, yes, one hundred percent. He was told not to go, and then I think it was probably more of a. I'm just going to bump him out of the way. <laughs> don't, you know what I mean? I don't think he like rammed him or anything. Yeah, but should've. dude, from the time that he they that they finally stopped him, arrested him, booked him. It was three hours, and he was back on the course. Yeah, he, made his, he, made, he made his fucking tea time. I'm yeah, guessing, and then birdied the first fucking Being hole. Being the number one golfer on the tour, he's probably got a decent lawyer. Oh, he's I'm probably sure. with him at all oh, times. Oh, I'm sure the first oh, yeah. call to the station was, hi, I'm Grant. I'm with the PBA. I'm one of their main lawyers. <laughs> or, uh, the, you know, the, PGA. Yeah, the PGA tour. That, and, uh, he also bowls. He bowls, too. <laughs> he yeah. bowls on the Grant's, side. Grant's a multi-talented person. <laughs> <laughs> The mean actually a, a guy that I, I Scotty you know him better than I do uh-huh. who is uh, is a carries a very high bowling average and a scratch golfer who uh, the the guy that I played poker with Derek put the game together but we had his uh, Stan I think is the guy's name. oh yeah 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 Stan's yeah. a good bowler uh, no. yeah and he wasn't having a good I don't think so he you'd kick his ass Derek claims that he is and mm. Derek knows bowling yeah so I'm not saying that he's JP good yeah he's not JP good. Not but who is? Very few are JP. I'd good. bowl him for some <laughs> sexual favors, Stan. <laughs> JP bowls would. so good that it made his mom run across the house. <laughs> he does he <laughs> hide in the other room, not wanting to talk about it. You got a good shot. He wears makeup. Just so you know. Well, Stan does. Yeah. I believe that. Oh, yeah, 100%. He's a haughty man. Uh, so, 
Anyway. I do have to say, this shit was Scotty Scheffler. <laughs> okay, so they didn't know who he was? I guess no, not. No, they did. I, I, number oh, they, one golfer in the once world. They they did, him, once they arrested him. Once they arrested him, they had to have. Yeah. Right. But they, they check your ID, I think. I'm uh-huh. going to guess that... <clears throat> At the scene, though, maybe the cops had no, didn't know no, him. no, they had and no idea. I that is, I got to look up to see if there's video footage of this because that is one of my favorite things ever. When entitled celebrities think they can just do whatever and nobody recognizes them, yeah, I love that. That's that's a good. Those are good videos. The ones where ever like, do you know who I am? <laughs> like, yes, and then they like, I don't give a fuck who you are. They have just grown so used to being catered to everywhere oh, yeah. that they go. God, I want to be that. The memes uh-huh. were great, though. The <clears throat> memes that came from this were great. <laughs> I saw one where he's driving, the, this guy's just driving his golf cart around town, <laughs> smashing into shit. And, and it was oh, like, gosh. Scotty Scheffler arrested. No, like, like, I was I, like, yeah. I have two favorites. My two favorite memes that I saw was when one where it has a whole bunch of golfers that uh, obviously are, are arrested and they have their mug shot. So it has like John Daly, Tiger Woods, and then Scotty Scheffler in orange like that was a good one but my favorite one was scotty scheffler on the first tee after he gets out of jail and they put a A teardrop teardrop (laughs) tattoo i was like oh so good that's great so good but yeah so that was uh that was big news uh for this last week uh i don't know if you guys saw this but moving on to football there was a kid at tyree kills camp did you see this uh, uh, so Tyree Kill has I, like I has, didn't go to his camp this year. Tyreek's <laughs> Nor- normally I, I I enroll myself, but this year I thought I'd be working more overtime than I was. Dude, I would pay so much money so to much watch him to go show. get into a uniform that's like oh. not quite the right yes. size, oh, too small. He just walk out there with those kids and oh, line up, man. and be like, "Let's it would go!" Be like, have you ever seen the footage of Andy Reid when he was like? 12 years old and he did the punt pass kick competition oh no and i mean he literally looked like a full-grown man six foot something 220 pounds amongst <laughs> 11 and 12 year olds oh god and of course he won i would have loved he it. won the national punt p- uh, kick punt and pass competition nice but he should have <laughs> he was double the size of the next closest kid to him it he's a man child when we take a break i'll have to show it to you because okay. it's quite funny oh man but anyways there was a kid at tyreek hill's camp tyreek hill throws a, like a, a wide receiver camp every single year and this kid fucking cooked him in a one-on-one drill and uh this kid is probably like eight or nine years old maybe 10 it says here 10 it says 10 uh-huh. I, everything i've read good, about this so i'm not far a good gay i'm not a good uh, gauge on age anyways okay. when it comes to it but this dude fucking cooked tyree kill not to mention white guy so well, white, white I, kid you say burned him. this is a child okay child i'm gonna burned him are like, you sure this video is real him. yes yes i am how sure because they fake this shit 100, a lot hundred percent Hundred percent. Tyree Kill even mentioned it, and it was like, "Oh man, he got cooked." If there was a ten-year-old right. who could outrun Tyree Kill, we, we would, would know all know his name. Now. Yes. Yeah, I, I agree. mean that that would that kid would I shatter agree. every junior Olympic record. I mean, this Tyree has got to be some kind of bullshit. It wasn't even impressive. It wasn't even that impressive. It's just like Tyree Kill well, just got Tyree burned. Kill wasn't he just got no. burned. He oh no, it. he was trying because he My was trying dad to catch him. To let me win races all the yeah. time. It was good shit. No, yeah. he, he did. He got burned, and it was awesome to watch. I, I had I had a good. Oh, I'm buying it. 100%. Sounds like something Tucker Carlson made up. Yeah. That so. being said, Tyree Kill is also the size of a child. <laughs> yes, so, he is. Yeah, he, that's he, true. He totally I guess is. you make a point there. That's, that's true. That's a good point there. Uh, but did any, Tyree Kill punch him in the chest? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, right. No. And break his arm. Uh, pull a Kareem Hunt action right there. Uh, uh, but moving on, uh, so we did have the schedule come out for the NFL. Uh, and I don't know who has the worst schedule between the Browns, the Steelers, and the Patriots. But I think that this is the NFL's way of punishing said franchises. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Steelers and their fans are the, probably the biggest pieces of shit on the fucking face of the earth. Uh, you have the quarterback for the Cleveland Browns, who is a massaging rapist. And then you have the Patriots, and everybody just hates the Patriots because Tom Brady was so he good. He's not finally a massaging left rapist. He was the one oh, getting the getting massage. Getting the massage. Okay, whatever. He, he was raping the masseuse. So... And I, I just, just asking damn. to jerk off onto her tits. Yeah. <laughs> That's not right. You know, like you do. 
That's not rape. Oh, come on. But I think that this is this is he the probably NFL's paid her. He probably did. He probably paid her really well. It's prostitution, yeah. not rape. I think rape. it wound up being real expensive. Oh. Yeah, yeah Pro- in probably. the end, yeah. Probably. He should go to uh, Bob Kraft's guy. <laughs> or yeah. girl. Yeah. 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 Uh, but there's that. And then uh, moving on to that, uh, we had the Mike Tyson, uh, Jake Paul press conference. Did you guys see this shit? I am I am convinced that Mike Tyson's going to kill this motherfucker. Oh, he might kill he him. He might kill him. Yeah, I know. I'm like, have uh, you seen the training video? Oh, Jesus Christ! Between the two of them, the way they're training, dude. <laughs> it's I not, it's going to be a bad dude. I know that <laughs> Jake Paul is young. I know. I get it. He's like what thirty or something like that. But like the amount of of like oh. calmness that Mike Tyson has in, during this press conference. He's going to fucking kill him. He's going to fucking kill oh. him. He's going to come unglued oh. in the fucking ring. He's going to fucking He's kill that kid. He's probably going to eat a part of it. Oh, my God. I, I'm so scared of Mike Tyson now, probably more than whenever he was in his He prime. may bite his nose he off. May, that, he may fucking kill this kid. Yeah. That is kind of a sign of somebody might kill you is if they are quiet. Yes. And just take it. When I was never terribly scared of Mike Tyson back in the old days when he would just fucking go nuts yeah. and like tear a room apart. That's a guy who's just showboating and, you know, posturing. Mm-hmm. But when a guy just sits back and stares at you, that guy might kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. That being said, I, how much of that is just a publicity stuff? Oh, 100%. I know it is. I, I mean, know it is. Jake Paul is trying to solve this Tyson is in on it. Oh, uh, for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. Sure. But I also think that there is, I mean, he's even said, he's like, I like Jake Paul, but whenever but I'm the in the thing. ring, I'm going to kill him. Right. Because when he gets in the ring, whether it's set up, even if you want to say that it's just for mon- a money grab or whatever, that dude doesn't, he's not going to like his reputation being tarnished. Uh-uh. He's not going to like, even for any amount of money, he's not going to want to lose that fight. Legacy. Yeah. Yeah. But he's he is going to kill him. He's going to kill him. Old. He's going to kill him. I get it. If you saw the videos of him training. I, I, no, I've seen it, and everybody looks good hitting pads. Hitting pads. I, I said the same My, exact Mike thing. Mike Tyson is actually the one who quoted as saying, everybody what? has a plan until they get hit. hit in the face. That's right. And I just don't know at this age how much of that is just for show and how much. I mean, I think they're going to dance around each other. They're going to make it look real good, but sure. I still think it's a, a publicity stunt. I don't think that they're. I think they're working together on it. To they both want a lot of money as oh, quick yeah. as possible. Sure, absolutely, I get that. I'm just not buying it. I buying it. I'm fucking buying <clears throat> it. I am. I am so invested, and I think that especially us kids from the '90s who remember watching Mike Tyson yeah, at Evander yeah. Holyfield. We're their target market, and Playing I, video and I game, don't Well, care. if you're talking about yeah, that fight, Evander Holyfield just fucking tore him oh, up. Oh, he did. He tore him the, to pieces. I, but I, 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 I still say that, and I'm, I know it's a very unpopular opinion. Mike Tyson was not as good as people like to think he was. I think whenever he got with Don King, that ruined his career. I, don't, I think Mike that's Tyson... That's when he was at the height of his powers, really. I, I know, but I think that Don King fucking ruined him. I think out of the Olympics, if if Mike Tyson would have gotten away from him, and, and it was just a mental thing, but Mike Tyson is still probably referred to as one of the best heavyweight boxers of all time. I, I get that. And but. the last thing to go is power, and I think that if he touches Jake Paul with one right or left hook... He is going to what, put him to fucking sleep. What weight class does Jake Paul fight in? Uh, I believe it's two. Oh, well, I think he's probably in the two twenties. So he's either heavyweight or light heavyweight. Yeah, he's, so, he's okay. a light heavyweight or heavyweight. Yeah, I didn't think he was that big. Yes, no, uh, you're thinking of Logan. Logan <clears throat> is younger and he is smaller. Jake is is a heavyweight. I can tell you what I wasn't thinking about, and it was Logan. Sorry, yeah. I've never thought about Logan. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a fucking thing until just now. Yeah, but I've thought about him. <laughs> of course, you have. Mike Tyson would <clears throat> eat. Logan Paul for dinner. Yeah, and and in Mike Tyson's prime, I, Mike sure. prime, Mike Tyson obviously he wouldn't even take this fucking fight. No, but okay, Mike Tyson was he was a bad motherfucker. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but he was very fortunate to fight at a time where there weren't any great heavyweights. The I ones agree. he fought were way past their prime. And once he did fight some top ranked guys like Evander Holyfield and Lennox Lewis, Lennox he got Lewis. his ass kicked. Yeah, he did bad. Yeah. 
Uh, the only real fighter of note that I saw him beat, and he did beat him twice, was uh, Razor Ruddick, mm -hmm. Dominic Razor Ruddick, who did wind up going on to be a heavyweight champion uh, after Vander Holyfield. Yep. But I think if you would have put him in against one of the great technical heavyweights like like a Muhammad Ali, oh, he yeah, would have gotten eaten up. Uh, and I think he's even said that. Like, he's even said uh, in interviews that if he ever faced Well, Muhammad he's quoting Ali, me. No, oh, just like doing? I did with him earlier, <laughs> right. he was quoting me. No, I, 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 I can honestly, I, this is the very first time to where I have the confidence in saying that I think Mike Tyson is going to beat the shit out of Jake Paul. I think he's going to fuck him up. I hope so. Because I, I, I know, I know that Jake is young. I know that he's any, he, and he's a good boxer. I know that Jake can fight. I'm not an idiot. However, I will say that Mike that's Tyson. A, that's old tough. That's really bold. I can't believe you just said that and kept talking. I did because, but, and I'm, I'm a part-time cobbler. It. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I even think. I'm calling You're it certainly right no now. watchmaker. I'll tell you that. You're certainly no watchmaker. I'm definitely yet. not. I know. I know. But <laughs> anyways. <laughs> but, okay, that saying that, Jake Paul is young. Jake Paul has been relevant and in the public eye for a while now. Yes, he has. Five, six years. Yeah. How long can we keep saying he's young? Because and, and he's, he's still, he's and he's, late 20s now? He has starched uh, UFC fighters on the reg. Like, he, he starched Tyson Woodley, who is probably one of the best like UFC fighters, he's going to be a Hall of Famer, and he fucking starched Yeah, but Tyson Seth Rollins Woodley. beat his ass. I know, but I'm just saying. That may have been scripted. It probably was. But I think I I'd like really to see Jake Paul fight George Foreman. <laughs> <laughs> right now. He'd like, grill like, him. Yeah, right now. Foreman would grill him. Foreman would run, Absolutely over, grill Foreman him. Would run over his feet with his wheelchair. That's what would happen. But anyways, uh, moving on to the last thing and i don't want it to be political but it's not on your guys's sheets and i don't oh, give a shit but Lord. i did want to talk about, talk about oh it. I thought we didn't do political Butker, stuff. man here we go yes let's go back into yeah. vietnam i've been saying it for a while now <laughs> finish what we started i i think it's that i think it's hilarious because i wanted to mention this but harrison butker gave a speech that a whole bunch of people are losing their fucking minds about and he gave a speech at a Catholic fucking school with a Catholic fucking audience. And he did it. And I don't give a fuck. He did it for his audience. Obviously, and you brought it up. Fuck? You do give a fuck. I give a fuck. I think they need to get off of his ass. He did it. And I don't agree with everything that the fucker said. But at the same time, he did it in his he, audience at a fucking Catholic school that has the same fucking ideas. He had a message that he wanted to make. And he 100%. didn't do a very good job of picking his words. Mm -hmm. And a lot of shit came out wrong, I think. Yeah, but this may have been a very calculated move because the Chiefs have sold out of Harrison Butker jerseys. Hundred percent. Yeah, I think so too. Like it was one hundred. I think he, uh, people are wanting him fired. Number one, he's a fucking clutch kicker. They are not going <laughs> to. Yeah, they're, they're not getting, getting rid of, rid of him, him, no dude. matter what you say. Yeah. Nothing that he said was necessarily untrue, and he tried to, I think, make it more about his wife and his experience with his own wife. Correct. But he didn't do a very good job of conveying. I know. I would have advised against making that speech, but he didn't ask, or I missed the phone call, or I thought it was a scam. <laughs> when it did come. I don't know. And guess what? I have it programmed to go right to voicemail. He is, yeah, right. He is, uh, he has, I think, the, the jersey that he is, uh, well, they have sold out. You've said that. But I think he is the number two uh, most purchased jersey over the last couple of weeks because of it. On, on a team with Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, have that. <laughs> so I just wanted to mention it, but anyways. Let's move on to the fun. Let's move on to the fun. Are we ready to move on to the fun? You ready? JP is over here just squirming because he's so uncomfortable. I just don't care. I know. It's okay. I, I, <laughs> I mean. Let's move on to the fun, There's though. so many it, people that are like, he's a misogynist. He's the, who fucking cares? Who cares? It, it involves the Chiefs and women. Two of JP's least favorite things. <laughs> that's true. true. Okay. okay, that's true. All right. But let's move on to never have I ever. Guys, I got to give you credit because there was a bunch of very, very good ones. I can't imagine that's true. To no, the it can't point, be because these are the same exact people that we have every to week. The, oh, okay. To the point to where I even 
added an extra one on both of the next segments. Watch because out. Because they were good. All right. This Man, week, you guys you are guys getting killed, bonus content. Killed Monday, Friday. So I bet thank you very really, much. They're really, really excited. They're really pumped. Uh, but we're going to kick this off first with Wayne Fargnoli. He wants to know Never have I ever signed up as an individual to play a team sport. What? Is bowling a sport? No. Well, then, no. <laughs> That's not I have a game. Not. No, I, I like. Uh, what does this even mean? So this is like whenever you go and sign up and don't have friends, and you're just oh, a so somebody's stranger. just looking for a player. Yes, you're just looking to be on a team that will accept you with open arms. This is how I met. This is how I met my best friend, my oldest I friend. You're gonna say mother? No. This is how I met my best friend. He signed up for the team they and forced you to spend time with each other. <laughs> yeah, you, that's true. You forced yourself onto him. Because uh-huh, otherwise, if given the choice, he'd have been like, no. I think what that was. <laughs> you can't was, play without five. I yeah. think what that was was integration. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was the 90s and uh, it was. And he was a black guy. You need to get some black people <laughs> in, in the school. Uh, that's that, affirmative action that's, right there. That's yeah. DEI like a motherfucker. Yeah, it now. worked. It worked. Because, you know, sports don't have enough black guys. Right, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the next one comes in for for uh, from Nick Poirier. I think it's Poirier or Poirier. But anyway, he wants to go. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever hooked up with a friend's sibling. JP, <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so fucking scared. <laughs> with a friend's sibling. Friend's sibling. <laughs> Well, please say no. I mean, oh yes, oh, no, no. The answer is yes. It's multiple. Oh uh, my god! I just there's one instance I can't. They were brothers. Oh no! And I fucked both of them. Oh no! But we weren't really friends. Oh god! Oh, that's, that's the parting question, right? Holy I wanted to know shit. where. Well, like, what do you mean friends? Oh, because god. friend or an acquaintance, right? Oh man! I didn't. It wasn't at the same time or anything, but. I, I mean, got the shit kicked out of me when I was in high school because I hooked up with my well, like a buddy's oh, yeah. sister. Oh, nice. yeah. yeah it was, you, you think that's why that happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they just wanted to beat the fuck out of me. But no, no that was, uh, you know, just the like icing on the cake. How about you, Jeremy? Not a sibling. No? No, I... Mom? My co-worker's mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's my, that. my partner at work. This was... God, uh, this was long before I... Not long before, because there wasn't a whole lot of It was after my divorce, but before I met my current wife. Oh, okay. Well, then in you're in the time. clear. You're in the clear. Oh, yeah. It was, I mean, as far as there was no cheating or anything like that. Sure. But I'm going to guess that if this guy had found out about it, he would have been none too pleased. <laughs> I didn't know at the time who she was. She was just, she was a very attractive much younger looking milf (laughs) that was out at the bar looking for some young tail at the time and i was up for it and then went to her place and later saw his picture (laughs) i'm like i know that guy and she's yeah it's my son and oh fuck and I can tell this story now because <laughs> that guy's dead. Uh, As he should be. <laughs> After he found out. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, it was just a few years ago that he found out it was a brain aneurysm, which oh, this no. very well could have been the case. That but the cause. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's great. I once hooked up with my sister's friend when I was in high school. Yeah. Uh, she stayed the night with my sister, and we ended up hooking up, and then... Uh, like three or four years after high school, she married my best friend. Oh, nice. So, oh, that's I good. Mean, does that count? Yeah, it counts. Okay, good. sure. Uh, next one comes in from Tyler Plackey. He wants to know, never have I ever farted loudly thinking no one was around just to find out someone was right behind me. That's the great thing about being a gay. <laughs> Our farts don't make noise anymore. <laughs> they just... <laughs> yeah, right. You can't really hear them. Yes, so. 100% I've done this. I've done this at work. Oh yeah, I, I think I, everybody has. Dude, you go into your office and it's and you just think you're all by yourself and you just let one fucking rip and there is somebody sitting down. Oh, for sure, it's that you did not see. So yes, this or when is you get to be my age, it just like you'll just be sitting there and then all of a sudden it just happens on its own. Oh, like yeah. you don't even you don't even see it coming. Your ass just said a word. Yep, squirrel. 
Oh, trying to tell me something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How about you, Jeremy? I don't think that I've ever done that. Really? But I know that I have Purpose. farted in a room <laughs> where I was by myself that I didn't think would stink, but it did. And then and somebody came in. in. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's great. I've also walked into a room when somebody else has done that, and now they're gone. And then somebody else walked in while the room still stunk like fart. <laughs> and no, I got blamed for it. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Let me ask you guys a question. What you got? With, with regards to farting loudly. Mm -hmm. All right. Like, if you're just out hanging out, like, say you're you're at a restaurant or whatever, and you're you're at the table, like, the people wouldn't fart real loud right but right if you go to the bathroom and somebody's at the urinal uh -huh. all bets are off yeah oh yeah and there's no excuse me there's no sense of embarrassment i realize you're in a bathroom where people are probably shitting or at least it's set up for people to shit <laughs> but you're not <laughs> yeah and people are standing around and you're just fucking letting them rip <laughs> What's with the no question? shame what why is that okay what what is the what changes at the threshold of, of the, the men's room. Of the bathroom? Yeah. That's where shit happens. Amen. I mean, right? it, uh, it'd be one you thing are if not you wrong. were in sitting on the toilet. Uh-huh. But what you're doing is not ass-related at all. Yeah. You're peeing out of your cock like I normally do. <laughs> wow. Wow. And the guy next to me is just fucking <laughs> blowing cheese. Brett letting a rip. Is he peeing at the same time? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah that's when it happens. Yeah, I don't I, think you can stand there waiting. I think it would be cool fuck. if he wasn't peeing if he just like went to the urinal and then just backed up against it and just started ripping at it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I and really flushing. needed to do, yeah, I really needed to do that. <laughs> and then, yeah, like, that would be, that would be fucking awesome. <laughs> that's fucking great. Uh, it, anyways, we're going to move on to the next one. This one comes in from Caleb Hill. He wants to know, never have I ever tried to twerk. JP? No. No? I don't have enough ass to twerk. <laughs> you have no ass, buddy. Yeah. You have none. What I got's real nice. Yeah. Just okay. letting you know. I'll take your word for it. Yes, I have tried to twerk. And you I'm don't not, have to take my word I'm for it. I'm not proud have, of it. I I'm, have. Uh, I, I was trying to be funny, and my wife laughed and thought it was. Yeah, so I, you have tried. I have okay. tried. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Well, I think he probably does it all the time. <laughs> probably. Uh, absolutely not. Um, <laughs> I'm going to. I feel like When it comes lying. to twerking, I I'm going to quote somebody else famous. Do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> okay? I can fucking twerk. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. My wife loves when I just fucking come into the room and start shaking it. That's fucking great. Here's the thing is, it never seems to turn her on. It just makes her laugh, which <laughs> is... Not the result I was going for. Uh -oh. I mean, yes, I was an amazing stand-up comedian. I know how to make people laugh. Right. But this wasn't what I was going for here. <laughs> but nothing will make her fall over laughing faster than me coming in and shaking my ass. <laughs> That's fucking great. Oh, shit. All right. Next one comes in from Nolo Cinco. He wants to know, never have I ever had to be the moral support person to a friend that just got their ass beat in a fight. Oh, yeah. Have you not done this before? Here's the thing, man. My friends were big. That's <laughs> like, true. The reason I hung out with the guys I hung out with is because they could protect me. I get it. Well, that makes no, sense. 100%. I didn't. I had no so idea. My friends never lost the fight well, one time. One time. One time. I I remember. And we were that guy. Like I mean, specifically, like <laughs> the group of guys that I hung out with in high school were not the guys you would expect. But when I uh, like the guys that I played baseball with were a totally different group of guys. And I remember specifically, I was going to a fight. And then, like, supporting one dude and then looking around and all of my baseball friends are on the other, the other, the other guy. Nice. And he got the fucking shit kicked out of him, the guy that I was rooting for. Yeah. And I was just like, ah, well, that kind of makes sense. So you just skipped on over to the <laughs> other sure line. Did. Yeah, I know you sure, did. Sure did. I was like, oh, <laughs> hey, guys, what's Those up? are my friends. Those are my friends. Yeah, it was pretty funny. How about you, Jeremy? Here's the thing with this. If your friend got his ass kicked and he's all beat up and you're not, are you really fucking friends? Right. No. Yeah. No. I, I don't think I could watch my ass my friend get his ass beat and then 
and just stand there and watch it happen. Oh, sure. And if I was going to be the moral support, I would be the worst ever. I would just point out how funny it was watching him get his ass kicked. <laughs> there would be no real moral support. It would be a lot of shaming. Oh, like, yeah. You zigged when you should have zagged. Yeah, you had absolutely. him. You had him. <laughs> I have been telling you all night, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> And last but certainly not least, Caleb Hill. He wants to know, never have I ever been caught scratching my butt and smelling my finger. No. So you say how good everybody's suggestions were this week, and there's two of Caleb Hill on the first one. (laughs) I know. And one of them was tried to twerk. Hey, but guess what? We got gold out of it because it's Jeremy Joseph. I'm just wondering, has there ever been an episode on here where there wasn't something where we had to comment about smelling fingers? No. What if I wasn't using my finger? (laughs) (laughs) Can you smell it? (laughs) Can you? Can you get it up to your nose? Because that... That's I, impressive. I can't. Yeah, I can actually what are you get doing it. here? I can get it in my mouth. <laughs> what are you doing here? As long as I got somebody to hold my ankles. Oh my god! I can do it. That's disgusting. Prove okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't prove it, please. Hold my ankles. No, can do. Uh, no, I've I got never. I that in the car. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need it, one of those suits. <laughs> I've never done this. I don't scratch my nuts or my balls or my ass, yeah, and, and then smell my fingers. I know that people do that. I'm not one of those people. So no. If I'm getting ready, oh, God. then I do because you got to know. God damn it. All right, Jeremy. But other than that. Seriously, the name of this pod <laughs> should be Smelling Your Fingers. <laughs> we could change it. I mean, it's really. Stinky fingers. That seems to be a topic on every show, at least the ones that I'm on. I know. Um, I'm sure I've done it. I don't know if I've ever been caught. Yeah. It seems like I would remember. Yeah. I Problem. don't have anybody in my life that wouldn't point that out and hang shit on me forever <sighs> if they if they did catch me. Yeah, uh, I did catch my roommate in college one time. Like he had a, he didn't think I was in the room. The door was kind of quiet. I walk in and he's like reaching down the front of his pants and he like scratching and I don't know if he had like a scab or a pimple or something, uh, but he uh, got it on his finger and then licked it. Oh so, my god! Oh, <laughs> and not. Licked it. And that's one of those things where I didn't know him well enough to hang shit on him, so I just had to pretend I didn't see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So, this answers episode. like that, I hope, will stop questions like these. <laughs> Caleb Hill, no more questions <laughs> no from more. you, sir. Oh, my God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is never have I ever. Now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line, which is JP's favorite. Oh, sorry. My bad. JP's favorite part of the episode yeah, <laughs> yeah I, there are I, eight, literally eight buttons I, man. I know dude figure I, out the fucking buttons I did. we talked about this last I know week. I know I just accidentally pushed it a, a okay. second time but anyways uh, before next week change the buttons too. yeah <laughs> <laughs> now I get to move on to that's where I draw the line and we're gonna kick this motherfucker off with Travis Stevens he wants to know how long do you have to be at your job before you realize it's a dead end job JP. Aren't all jobs dead end jobs? <laughs> Aren't all of them? No. Of oh, well, not. I've been doing this wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I need to fix this. You sure do. It's probably too late for me. It is probably too late for you. Damn. Yeah, I dude. Did. You know how depressing that is? I know. But it's pretty, you're probably right. I am. I'm probably fucked. You are. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, can I move it with you, dude? <laughs> no, Whenever I get absolutely. like old and. I mean, I'm, well, of course, I'll take, I won't I'll have t- any I'll retirement. Take, I'll take You'll care take of you. will take care of Thanks, man. Yeah, I'll take care of you. Uh, I would say if, if you don't have a definitive pathway to the top after working at a place for five years, then get the fuck oh, out. Oh, man, I wouldn't even say that long. I uh, know. I think you know within like a year. Pretty close, yeah. Whether it's going to be something. Like, oh, yeah. When I was yeah. at QT, when I actually had a good man, dude. Yeah. I mean, I worked my way up to the top. Yeah. And then you quit. And then I quit. Good job. Because. Way to work. Yeah. Yeah. Good know. job. How about you, Jeremy? Well, I think by the time I realized nobody's calling me sir or boss, unironically. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's one of my least favorite things, by the way, is when somebody calls you boss. When, oh, yeah. When what they're saying, like in parentheses, guy who clearly is not the boss. boss? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's never anybody below you that mm-hmm. calls you boss. It's always people who like they're like calling you champ. <laughs> yeah. Sport. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid buddy. pet name. <laughs> Um, yeah. Like that asshole at the fucking comedy show. Way to go, buddy. You know, that guy. Uh, 
but yeah, if if you yeah, like you said, if there is no path towards advancement, like you know, I got a promotion. Mm-hmm. I, I talked about it on this show. Yep, a little bit of one that puts me at the bottom rung of a very tall ladder. <laughs> I'm just not on the ground anymore. Right. Um, but I will never and. But here's the thing is I've actually been offered chances for advancement a little bit. Yeah. And I've seen what those jobs entail and you couldn't pay me enough. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's not necessarily a dead end job if the opportunities are available, but you just don't fucking want them. Yeah, but they, but they, I make more money than my boss. (laughs) That's, that's what's a weird thing about it. Yeah, and they and they put you on a fast track to be promoted because uh, you let them know that there was a poop in in uh, in the aisle. Correct. I think they're still looking at me suspiciously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a person of interest. <laughs> yeah, you're a PI. Uh, anyways, all right. Next one comes in from Jeff Mana. He wants to know how bad a porta potty has to be for you to not use it. Oh boy. One or two. It could be brand new. <laughs> you won't. And I—I I mean, I if I have to. Oh yeah, if you have to. But I'm to. not like. You know what? <laughs> that fucking porta potty looks pretty goddamn nice. I think I could <laughs> piss right now. <laughs> Let me try it. You know what I mean? Like, I've never done that. I've never. never. Holy shit! Look at that porta chon. Uh, Take her for a bit. test drive. Yeah, yeah. never. I. I, I don't like porta potties. I could literally like, watch them set that motherfucker up and still not be say, like, fuck that. Yeah, no thanks. I'm waiting until I get home. Yeah. I, I don't, <laughs> dude. Yeah. But have you ever walked in, smelled the waft of shit, and, and then walk be, back oh, out? Like, be like, oh, no, I can, no. I, I can hold it. No, I can. because the only reason I would ever go in there in the first place is because I could not hold it. <laughs> I get it. Okay. And there's no chance I could hold it. Fair enough. Jeremy? Uh, again, one or two. Both. Both. Because at the same time. <laughs> as, as a dude, I, I have the male privilege of being able to piss behind anything right. <laughs> and not get arrested right. for it. Hundred percent. I'm with you on However, that. However, it's gotta be number two then. If I got a two that is just knocking on the door, mm-hmm. prairie dog. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I am I know I'm not going to be able to hold it. It would have to be pretty fucking nasty for me to opt to shit my pants. <laughs> right. Before I would pull my pants down and shit that I can hover above the toilet seat a little bit. But at least you're leaving that second option open. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, oh, yeah. Shit like, your pants is always right. an option. All right. Okay. Have you ever I, shit your pants and smelled your finger? Yeah, all right. <laughs> I think the most like the most hilarious picture next meme that needs to go viral is a guy who's pissing right next to a porta potty like behind a tree and you can see the porta potty in the tree and he's taking a piss. I think that needs to be the viral thing. Uh, anyways, next one comes from Nolan uh, Cadramas. Nolan Cadramas. <laughs> no wonder people new people don't ever yeah. try to get on the show. Hey, hey, you know what? I I butcher it, but I think that's close. Uh, but he wants to know Nolan. How about that? That no, name butchered itself. It, <laughs> yeah, Cadmus. Uh, but Nolan wants to know how many curbs does your wife have to hit before you take her car away? No, he wants to know how many curbs does your wife have to hit before she take her car away? Very good, very good. Oh, I you think it. he's Russian? Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or German, or Indian. That wasn't German. I that, guess. that was Russian. Okay. That, was, that was Russian. That's Russian. Yeah, I think oh, okay. he's Russian. Okay. Look, that's all the. Things are all together you like think that. These curbs come out of nowhere. These curbs don't come out of nowhere. <laughs> How many times? Plus they like to hit their wives. I wife. pay four hundred dollars each for rims. <laughs> <laughs> I beat that bitch senseless. She deserves. Get me vodka. <laughs> Get me vodka, bitch. I close both of her eyes. I leave the model alone. She's still good cook. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> Two curbs. Fucking That's Russian. it. Russians Russians one, curb. one curb. One curb. One yeah. curb. Yeah, especially yeah. JP. JP didn't want anything to do with her anyway. No. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy? Well, has a... Uh my wife is the main breadwinner in the family. <laughs> I don't really get to take things away. I don't have that authority. <clears throat> she takes things away <clears throat> from you. Yeah, because she probably <laughs> bought it. <laughs> probably. <laughs> what, what's the last thing your wife took away from you there, Jeremy? <sighs> Well, probably the third time I lost my virginity. She <laughs> okay. took that. Yeah, sort of. okay, fair enough. It was in the janitor's closet of service merchandise. <laughs> service <laughs> merchandise. I love that. That's Good fucking deal. great. <laughs> Which lets you know how dirty that place is. Yeah. We were in there for a couple hours. <laughs> Nobody needed Nobody any cleaning supplies. Knew, yeah. <laughs> they don't clean that place at all, especially uh, now. 
That's fucking great. All right. I wonder if there's any of those still. No. No, there's not. not. No. Uh, but next one comes in from Nick. Uh, Nick wants to know, how many years should it take for you to graduate college before you give up? That's a good question. How many years should it take you to graduate college? You enter as a freshman. and uh, Depends I, on what you're going in for. I will drop the Tommy Boy quote. A lot of people go to college for seven years. Yeah, they're called doctors. <laughs> so I'm going to go right, yeah. with seven years. I thought okay. Mike Tyson said that too. <laughs> he might have. <laughs> a lot of people go to college for seven years. <laughs> How about you? What's uh, what do you think? JP? Is that Russian? I think that might have been a little bit of Mike Tyson, <laughs> Mike Tyson. and Michael Jackson. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was a double wow. Mike. How about you, JP? You a lot of rape going on there. Yes. <laughs> oh God! I think seven. Seven? Yeah, anything I think over that's that. Good. I mean, you can get a doctorate in seven, oh, so yeah. that's all you need. Absolutely. Right, J- uh, Jeremy. Well, that depends on what subject. <laughs> okay. Saying. Yes, it, it very much does. Uh, Liz- I, liberal arts degree. Oh, zero. <laughs> zero. They just hand those out. Lesbian dance theory. If if <laughs> every doctorate in that should be honorary because it's not a real fucking thing. <laughs> right. They should hand them out at Halloween. Any more like I, the business degree. Like there's so many people that has business degree. It might as well be a fucking high school diploma. That at least you can apply to certain sure. aspects of your life. Right. But... When was the last time you looked at any classifieds and saw somebody hiring philosophers? Right. <laughs> yeah. I, That's I, great. I personally, in this day and age, think that college is a complete fucking waste of time. I agree. I agree. So, 100%. I mean, that, that's just me. Unless you're a doctor, an engineer, or, you know, something like that. I think like doctors should just go to trade school, too. Okay. Fair. should All get right. that from DeVry. Okay. DeVry University. <laughs> uh, next one comes in from Connor Nezerka or Nezerka. Uh, he wants to know, I have a coworker that wears cowboy boots and short shorts and listens to the, uh, what listens to fucking Taylor Swift through a JBL speaker daily. How long do you wait until you snap? Oh, fucking immediately, immediately snap. You fucking kidding me? Is this a coworker, fuck her. Is this coworker a boy or a girl? I'm guessing it's got to be a boy. Dude, then I'm uh, short shorts, cowboy boots, and Taylor Swift? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Where do you work at? <laughs> I'd like to come visit. That's what I'm looking for. It's exactly okay. what I'm looking okay, for. Okay, yeah, that is exactly yeah. what you're looking for. You just described JP's type. So, yeah. yeah, but I'm snapping immediately. How about you, Jeremy? I snap the second I see that JBL speaker. <laughs> it doesn't you matter. get some better fucking tech. Yeah. yeah. Motherfucker, at least beats by Dre. <laughs> beats by Dre. Get some Raycon. Yeah. Sony, Bose. I don't give a shit. You yeah. bring that weak ass JBL shit. Yeah. No, thank you. And la- I will get you fired. <laughs> right. And last but not least, Cole McKinstry wants to know. What is the maximum number of bands to be managed in one lifetime? I think that's a Jeremy question. That is a there. Jeremy question. Uh, 568 and counting. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Wow. Uh, wow. Uh, any new good ones coming out there, Jeremy? Uh, shrimp knuckles. There. <laughs> shrimp knuckles. Uh-huh. That's good. Keep your eyes peeled for that one. Absolutely. Absolutely. And your shrimp peeled. <laughs> And uh, anyways, uh, that is that's where I draw the line. Now I get to move on to questions and preguntas. There was a shitload of these, and I'm just going to pick the ones that I like the most. And so, because we got a whole bunch of them. But anyways, uh, first question is going to come in from Reichenfrost. We haven't heard from Reichenfrost in a long time. Oh. Guy yeah. sounds like he should be running a Nazi fucking prison camp. <laughs> he sure does. He wants to know: Do you think you could win the Masters if your ball started on the green, the furthest point away from the pin? Every other golfer's play normally. A hundred percent. Yeah, especially me. I mean, come on. Well, come on. I mean, come on. That's true. I'm two putting. All day long. I'm, I'm getting two. I think on every you can three putt and still win. I think so, too. Yeah. And yeah. who can't do that? But a lot of people don't really understand, like, how, like, the Masters and all of these pro tournaments, the greens are glass. And I mean, they are no, fucking. Grass. Like, glass. Gra- no, when did you become not Asian? Na- not Asian. <laughs> these greens are glass. <laughs> these green glasses are very pretty. <laughs> 
The greens or glass. The yeah. green or glass. No, it, it's it's fucking hard. But I think I could I could probably win. I think so. Jeremy, I don't think I could because I'm still going to play it like a regular round. I'm going to tee up. <laughs> he's, he's his driver for the first shot, uh, and I'm going to hit back at the people. Yeah, there you go. He may not win, but uh-huh. he's going to be the last guy standing. That's true. <laughs> he's he's going to give somebody a fucking yeah. black eye. Uh, anyways, all right. Next one comes in from Jason Harris. He wants to know rejected names for pool noodles. Cock koozies, Cock jizz koozies. mittens, uh, <laughs> the whole <laughs> nice, nice, very well Kidnappers. done. Kidnappers. Yep. Uh, I got nothing. Uh, well, thank God you picked this question. Fo- man. Foam fun time. I, I, don't I know. think we've done this question. <laughs> no, before, we haven't. I, never. I mean, not on this show. Oh, maybe. Maybe on a different episode. Possibly. But no. Certainly not on the Smell Your Finger show. No, not on your Smell Your Finger show. No, no. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Do you got anything? Stinky fingers. I would... <laughs> Stinky fingers. Uh-huh. Okay, I like that. Shrimp one. knuckles. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, next one. We've had this sh- this question before, but I, I kind of wanted to call it back because of Jeremy being here. Uh, but Mason Lind wants to know, if Spanish soccer announcers did other jobs, what would they be? They'd make really good auctioneers. They would. Yeah. I want... Oh, man. Hundred <laughs> percent. I yeah. I want them. I want them to I be the singer. The, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I want them to be like the singers of the national anthem. Like that's like the pro, like the point that they go to. I think that's what they should be. How about you, Jeremy? I don't know cadavers. <laughs> oh yeah, they should be dead. Huh? Oh, okay, fair yeah, enough. That's I'd like good. to see that. Okay, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> shit. Oh god, this. Oh, okay, Wolf Rob is the next one. He wants to know mm-hmm. how stereotypical can you get before it starts getting racist? Scotty. Nope. I knew you were gonna do that. I knew you were gonna do that. No. No, that's his answer. No. Yeah. Oh, that's Cass- my answer. Oh, that's Johnny your opens his fucking oh. mouth. Yeah, his racist t- yeah. fucking mouth. You're racist as shit, dude. I, I'm not. You say that. I, I mean, I would say that I'm if not. I was a racist too. Oh fuck. I mean, obviously, I would say no. I'm not. Yeah. We're on a fucking national show here. Absolutely. You're the only international, guy as a matter of fact. International. Yeah. You're the only guy I've ever heard use the N word as an adjective. True. <laughs> Very true. Very true. And an adverb. <laughs> Christ! No, that's so bad. No, and I've a never subjunctive conjunction. <laughs> I've never done that. You guys suck. Uh, all right, fine. Uh, next one comes in. Can from... I answer? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Jerry. When it's when it's no longer true. <laughs> okay. Like a, okay. If you are talking about an individual who happens to be of a particular race and they do something stereotypical, that's not racist. That's just <laughs> calling out the truth. Okay. <laughs> Fair. But I think when you start applying it to all and it's not true of most, that's when it becomes racist. Fair. I like it. I like that answer. Uh, Next one comes in from Brian Scott. He wants to know, if you could premiere a comedy roast, who would it be that you were roasting? Derek Alders. 100. There's nothing to make fun of. Oh, really, oh, dude? Oh, oh, I would love to roast Derek. Out of everybody in the world? Oh, that, you pick? okay, fine. You pick Derek Alders? I mean... How fucking bad is your life? <laughs> like, I, you, I think it would be fun. How about the native grass guy? <laughs> oh. I mean, there's somebody. No, there. I just beat the fuck out of that guy. Nah. Uh, I would uh, beat the shit out of that guy. I would like. What about to the roast. Scots gra- grass guy? Okay, then no, he's fine. The guy that does the yeah, uh, the Scots, Scots guy, the Scots, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I know. I he was that. on Game of Thrones. He was. I know. I liked him as a character oh, and shit. a person. I did. I don't know who who would you really like to roast. Here's the thing about roasting: is roasting is done in good fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, you roast people you like. Mm-hmm. Uh, there goes my answer. Which is why I was surprised mm-hmm. for you. Derek would not Derek. be there. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I don't know who, who would be good, Jeremy. Um, fuck, they've already done Mike Tyson, right? They sure have, yeah. Uh, and Bieber. I'd like to do the woman who accused Mike Tyson of rape. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just everybody up calling her a liar. <laughs> but, but in fun. Okay, in fun. 
No, we actually believe you. Yeah. How about you, JP? Nobody? I mean, uh, the Justin Bieber, but they already did they that. They already did yeah, it. Yeah, man. It's done shit, Bastards. man. Uh, Tucker Carlson. Oh, you would. You fucking would. Uh, all right. Moving Putin. on. Okay. Putin would be uh, fun. Putin, Putin, Putin. Putin would be fun. I'd yeah. like Putin. He'd come out with no shirt on. He yeah, probably sure would. He would. And a bear. Mm-hmm. Uh, next one comes in from Daniel Delaney. He wants to know if you were to describe your fashion style to someone, what would it be called? <laughs> 1990s motherfucker. I feel like I'm just living in the nineties. Yeah. Jeans and t-shirts. Yeah, dude. That's I it. Mean, that's all I got. It would I'm made gay and I don't have then. a fashion sense. <laughs> yeah, like, that's I know. Not good. I know. It's great. How about you, Jeremy? Get off my ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's good. You don't like it? Go fuck yourself. Yep. That's what I'd call it. I am going to wrap this bitch up with the last one from our favorite, uh, Taylor Moroski. She wants to know strange things you've said to yourself while having sex. <laughs> <laughs> to yourself. This tastes funny. <laughs> Said out loud. No. Oh, okay. To myself. Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh. Or, that's I what mean, they say about clown pussy. <laughs> yeah, right. Boom. <laughs> Tastes like cotton candy. Uh, shit. 31, 32, Two, uh, 33, 34. Or, or uh, <laughs> are you counting sheep? I'm, no. never, I'm never doing this again. I'm counting seconds of yeah, how long it right. lasts. Is I'm it weird that counting again. sheep makes me horny? Mm. No, no, that's okay. totally reasonable. Right. How about you, Jeremy? It's reasonable. <laughs> it's reasonable. Yeah, it's reasonable. They're, they are the low hanging fruit of of bestiality. I like. <laughs> I feel like the question. That's such a weird question. <laughs> Do, I don't. I don't know that I think of anything like really to myself. Oh like, no, I, oh, yeah. I'm dead you, serious. When, when I've when, done that, when like, you've been married for a long well, time, well, having get, sex with the same. I person. wonder if he'll let me do this. Oh, I mean, no. you know, like I wonder if he'll let me do this. Let me try it. No, I'm, yeah, I yeah, I am legitimately counting to make uh, sure that I last longer than wow. two minutes. That's not a good deal. No, it's not. But I'm still married for ten no, years, motherfucker. No, Jeremy, good. how about you? Ooh. That's that's just the thing. When you've been married for a long time, having sex with the same person and no one else, and you're in a routine and you know what's coming up and when, your mind wanders. Oh, sure. It certainly does. I know that I've thought about other shit that I have to do. Uh, I don't know. When, when can I put another coat of urethane on the, <laughs> on the fucking woodworking project I'm doing? <laughs> Uh, oh, that's good shit. I know we've had sports on in the background, and I just, what's the goddamn score? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's fucking awesome. It, it does just kind of become a thing you do. Yeah, 100%. After a while. Absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Guys, thank you so very much for participating in Munt Day Friday. Uh, be on the lookout next Friday for the next one. And, uh, yeah, if we like your stuff, we'll put you on the show. Yeah, kind of. Well, we'll get, you know say your comment and then give you a shout-out. So. Uh, now we have to move on to uh, a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft, and guess what? JP, you won on a technicality. Fuck Derek. Fuck Derek. I should have won anyway. He, you should have. People just vote for Derek because he's Derek. I know, but that doesn't make sense because yeah, yeah. nobody likes him, but he you still wins. You would think that that was the case, but yeah. dude, he really has a lot of people that like him. On Facebook. On Facebook. Uh, that makes more right. sense. Right? They don't have yeah. to be around him. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yes, so <laughs> JP gets to, uh, you know, he wins on a technicality, which is totally fine yeah, with me. Me too. Uh, so that means that JP will get the championship picks for this week. I get the Eiffel Tower picks. And Mr. Jeremy Joseph, ladies and gentlemen, gets the first overall pick. As he fucking should, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I uh, should no matter the situation. <laughs> right. I come first and everybody else. Absolutely. Seconds. 
Uh, but I got a, I got an idea from uh, from a listener who I work with, and his name is Nelson Baruth. And Nelson wanted us to do a battle royale that draft. That name sounds made up to me. It's not. Uh, but Nelson wants us to do a battle royale draft of items that you will find in a barber shop. So we get to draft. My microphone smells like ass. <laughs> That's because Derek was using it. Mm. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a battle royale and a barber shop. But what I was getting ready to say? Barber, barber, barber shop. Barber shop. Barber shop. Barber shop. Barber shop. Battle royale is what we're so going to do. So it can be a beauty salon. Or a beauty salon. It can be yeah, yeah, pretty, same. Same thing. Okay. Yeah, in a nah, salon. I don't know the ha- Hair salon. What's the difference between a barber shop? Barber shop is oh, for men. Oh, big difference, yeah. Oh, men. And black people to play dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Not racist, because it's true. Because it's true. Uh, yes. Uh, so, Jeremy Joseph, what is your first pick for this battle royale between us three? Well, it seems like there's one very obvious answer, but it wouldn't be my first choice. I'm going hot curling iron. Oh, yeah. damn it. Nice. I was going to take that later. Nice. Oh, man. You're just going to have it and like swing mm-hmm. it around your head and hit people with? Damn it. I'm going to do all kinds of ninja shit with it. Yeah. <laughs> you are. Well, I guess. Tie two of them together. And That's right. Them. Uh, well, I guess that means that I get to take the number number one, the overall 101. I'm going to take scissors because that's the number one pick, right? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. And JP, you get two in a row. What mm-hmm. what weapons are you going to use? I'm going to go with the uh, the clippers. Oh, I'm not going to use them like you think I'm going to. I'm going <laughs> to fucking be swinging them bitches around like nunchucks too. Yeah. Yes. I got to go with the clippers. Yes. And they're on, plugged in. Oh, they're plugged they got in long too. Long ass cords, okay. dude. Okay. So yeah. You can they do. Fuck somebody up with they those. They sure do. Okay, that's and, fair. And uh, then I'm going with uh, hairspray and a lighter. Damn it, you fucking asshole! That's what I was waiting for. Oh, you man. son of a bitch. Man, oh. Sucks to be you. I guess there are always lighters. <laughs> <in> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody there smokes. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Fuck. Okay. Maybe while cutting your hair. Uh, yeah. Oh man, I guess uh, I guess I'm gonna. I better take it before it it you know it gets taken by somebody else. I'm gonna go with a straight razor. Is my next ah, pick? Yeah. yeah, you gotta shave the yeah, yeah. shave the neck. Why well, I got the, to be a straight razor, Scotty? It could be a cro- fucking homophobe. It, it now you're racist and razor. homophobe. You're basically Sweeney Todd. I am. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, you get two in a row. Uh, I'm gonna go with that fucking gallon size Damn thing of leave-in it, conditioner. Son of a bitch! Fuck. Oh wait, nope, that's not what I thought. Okay, leave-in oh. conditioner. Conditioner? You said gallon size conditioner? Yeah, the leave-in okay. conditioner yeah. that they put oh. on your hair to moisturize. Oh. Okay, before what are you, you leave. Do with that. All right. Okay. Oh, well, you could use that for a club. You could squirt it in people's eyes. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right. Don't take my pick. All right, go ahead. What's and your next one? I'm gonna take that. Blue shit. That they yeah, to disinfect that's the, the one. <laughs> God, barbicide. I, I don't know what one. that is, but that's it the one. eats the funk off of the yeah. nastiest combs you ever saw. That's yeah. got to be an acid oh, of some sort. Damn. Oh, damn it. I, I know. This that's, is getting yeah, good. Yeah, this yeah. is getting good. That was on my list. I hear you. I hear you. I didn't think you guys would come up with that. <laughs> I know, right? This I is think good. highly of you. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see a barber sometime switch that out with like Powerade and just, and just take a drink of it right there in front of the customer. There's a, there's just for laughs. Uh huh. Oh they yeah. They do that. Oh, uh, so I'm not even fucking original. I'm not no, even. I'm I've not more it. original than a goddamn Canadian. Right. Nice. <laughs> they are Canadian, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. I, I I now have to think of protection, right? Because I have to protect mm. myself. Mm-hmm. And so I'm going to take the bowl. The shampoo. Oh, the, the, oh, the, the hair dryer bowl. Yeah, the, 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 bo- the dryer yeah. bowl. And I'm using that as a fucking helmet. Okay. That's what I'm using. So I'm going to go with the dryer bowl. Okay. These are going to be very easy to beat. <laughs> I know. He's going to be walking I'm around yeah. fucking I'm going with a to. dryer I, bowl I don't helmet care. and a straight razor. I don't ever win these drafts anymore anyways. JP, what about you? You get two in a row. Bleach. Bleach. Fuck. Okay. And... Uh, the hose from the washer, from the <laughs> washing wash oh, okay. bowl handle. Yeah. yeah, I'm taking the whole hose okay. and fucking and fucking just. All yeah. right, all right. That's Is there, by the way, fair. a more relaxing moment no. ever than getting no. your fucking hair washed? No, it's no. the best, isn't it? Hot it towel on your face. Yeah. Fuck yeah, oh, yeah. Fuck. And the fucking massage in your head. Uh-huh. Oh my mm-hmm. god. No, they don't do that to me, Scotty. I, I'm, <laughs> wow. He doesn't pay the Does extra. Everybody oh. just try to molest you. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. they do. This guy can't fight back. I'm I'm small, so yeah, exactly. They take advantage of me. I'm I'm smaller than most characters in nursery rhymes, so I'm I'm good. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I'm gonna go with my next pick, and I'm gonna go the non-tear-free shampoo. 
Okay. okay. So the fucking yeah. shit that gets in your eyes and is irritating as fuck. So I'm going to go with that. And then, Jeremy, you get your last two. Well, I'm going to go with the hot towels. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. I, I have had my face burnt a number <laughs> really? of times with that. Sh- oh, yeah. Wow. wow. You get somebody that doesn't know what they're doing and they don't, like, shake it out. And mm-hmm. They don't Taylor Swift it, you know? Okay. Shake it off. They, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they, they towels, just fucking dude. chuck them at you. You can do that. You can snap people on the yeah, ass if it's, right. if it's yep. bathhouse. I mean, whatever. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Um house rules. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's way better than Cider House. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> What's your last pick? Uh, fuck. I'm trying to think. I'm going to go with the pomade. Oh, okay. That's good. That's a you good You rub that in the eyes. You oh, can yeah. Put it on the floor. They can put it yeah. on the floor. Oh, yeah. And then they come running at you. Very versatile fucking, weapon. Yeah. Pomade. Home alone them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give him the old home alone with the pomade. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm a Dapper Dan man. <laughs> I don't want fuck. God damn it. I, I, guess, I guess there's just no other pick for me that I was thinking, but I'm going to use it because I know it's heavy, and I know that it has a plug-in, and you can swing it around your head just like you guys are, but I'm going to go with the hair dryer. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to go okay. with the hair dryer. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and then, JP, what is your last pick for this fucking battle royale the receptionist how you can't have i'm gonna a swing person. that i can how can you she's there no her bad attitude alone is offensive <laughs> Dude, i'm telling you i'm using her okay fine We're teaming up. Are you, you know she wants to be a hairdresser you know and yeah, she doesn't piss you right yeah. i mean i'm taking the receptionist fair bro. enough god damn it that's, that's fair that's gonna win you the draw. i hope it does Probably, and it because, should because it's going up against you and jeremy and that's that's yeah, a, you don't have a chance. Yeah, I don't, there's I have, no fuck, shot. You picked a fucking hair plastic dryer bowl. and a plastic bowl That's for a, a helmet. helmet. He's running around looking right. like, uh, what's his name from Spaceballs? <laughs> hey, but you know look. what? I won't get ticketed. Dude, when you're playing by barbershop <laughs> rules, there's no defense. It's all offense. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Best defense is good offense. Yeah. Anyways, that is this week's draft. This is our <laughs> barbershop battle royale. Uh, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for your favorite list of our barbershop battle royale. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. Yeah, baby. Legos only sponsors us when Jeremy mm-hmm. Joseph is here. I, the they're best. my personal sponsor. Correct. I like to think mm-hmm. they go wherever I go. True. <laughs> so yeah, they're usually at home. Yeah. Uh, okay, living here in Kansas, we are all very familiar with tornadoes or cyclones, as they are sometimes called. Uh, they are large air masses that rotate around a strong center of low atmospheric pressure that draws swirling air up from the ground, uh, or uh, yes, up from the ground uh, level. Thank you. <laughs> My glasses suck here. <laughs> all right. However, we're probably not nearly as familiar with what they call anticyclones. That's when large air masses revolve around uh, high air pressure, uh, atmospheric pressures, and it draws air from the upper atmosphere down to ground level. They are usually windless. It's a very slow drawing down. Um, They're typically not destructive, which is why nobody gives a fuck about them, except from December 9th or December 5th to December 9th of 1952 December 5th uh, 1952 would have been my dad's second birthday by the way happy birthday dad Hi. an anti-cyclone formed over the heart of jolly old London uh, London being a very highly industrialized city that used a lot of coal burning plants uh, have a, a lot of fucking pollution in the upper, upper atmosphere above it and because it just drew all that air down it basically covered the entire city in a very thick dense layer of smog just a cloud of it everywhere and because there's no wind associated with it it didn't go anywhere as a result um the government estimates that approximately four thousand people died as a result of smog poisoning as well as another hundred thousand people became incredibly ear Ill with uh, respiratory... Yeah, I said it like an Asian. Ear. <laughs> They're very uh-huh. ear over yeah. there in a Rundin. <laughs> <laughs> they became very ill with uh, respiratory infections. So ear. <laughs> very, very ear. So very ear. Very ear. 
And now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and regos. <laughs> regos. <laughs> Legos. Keep a step up a lip, governor. <laughs> You, not only are those entertaining, but they're very informative. Oh you learn, God. and I, yeah. that's what I love about it. The oh, the Regos. The, Regos. The world has no shortage of awful shit. No, that's right. Happened. Yeah. Oh my God. Whether it was on purpose or not. Yeah. A lot of bad shit Dude, has happened not throughout a good deal, human history. Man. No. So that's got to be a shitty no, way to go. Yes, oh, it does. God. And there's nothing anybody you can, can do, do about, it. about it. Yeah. I'm sorry, but the Regos fucking got right. me. <laughs> so, of course it did. I'm a very funny oh, man. Oh, my Lord. Anyways, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, this week's uh, <laughs> <laughs> laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather every time you scratch yourself, you have to sniff your fingers or... Would you rather every time you're having sex, you have to yell out what you are thinking? Oh, well, that's easy. I'm yelling out. Yeah, for sure. A hundred percent, dude. Absolutely. Uh, the, the other one would be weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> scratch your nose. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you scratch. <laughs> yeah, whatever you matter. scratch. Yeah. I just scratched my balls a second ago. Well, you, I hope you smelled your fingers. I did not. Okay, I did well. Not. I know it smells good. Then now. I'm going to tell your wife you got to start yelling <laughs> shit out during sex. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if I want to. Again, 31, 32, <laughs> 33, 33. Oh, 34. That's, that's got to turn her off. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're never having sex again. I know. God damn it. Dude, think about that oh. before you make your choice. I promise you, if you really think that every time you have sex and you have to say it, uh, she's not going to have sex not, with you anymore. No, no. One minute one, one minute two. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's coming anyway. <laughs> I but. know, right? I'm, I'm yelling out. How about you, Jeremy? Oh, I'm sniffing my finger every yeah. time. <laughs> you do that anyway. Well, I don't, but at least I can spin it positive. Like, I can scratch and be like... <laughs> nice. All right. That's right. That's what I was looking for. Right. Absolutely. The other one will get me divorced. <laughs> right. Without yeah. a doubt. Yeah. Oh man. I suppose if I if I was married or had a partner right now, I would probably oh, go with the sniffing thing. Yeah. Yeah. That'll, I mean, yes, it would make single. things uncomfortable. It wouldn't destroy my life. Right. Yelling out what I'm thinking yeah, during right. sex. Really uh, that's what I was trying to tell you. I think it would. Yeah. Oh God! I could just imagine JP. God, I wish I wish she had a cock. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay, fair enough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, Jeremy Joseph. Hey, listen, I've said this before. I'll say it again. The only gratitude I will accept is in the form of cash. There you go. Okay. All right, your All right. words are hollow and meaningless to me. JP, how much money you got on you? Good one. <laughs> Good one, Scotty. I, Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, let's see. What Let me count got? the coins. See what I got on. <laughs> Let me count the pennies we got in there. Oh, I would have given anything if you had a Velcro wallet. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised JP doesn't have a Vel Velcro wallet. Oh, we're getting what, what we got here. Okay, we're, we're counting them out. Wow, that seems high. It does. I'm kind what of I actually, I'm actually kind of impressed. You got eleven dollars. Twelve dollars. Thirteen dollars. Ah, son of yeah, a bitch. I'm not. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying. Or, but actually, that's a lie because then here's my debit card, and I know that's at least negative thirteen. <laughs> so technically, he has nothing. I got nothing. He's got nothing. I got nothing. You know, you did the count from Sesame Street there. I always love the fact that people forget that he is a vampire. Oh, he is. <laughs> and he will kill you and yes. suck your blood out or turn you into an undead fucking monster. Right. He is also one of the very first gay characters <laughs> on the street. Yeah. That's good shit. Uh, oh, yeah. he's oh, super yeah. gay. Oh, yeah. He's, he's 100% he's, gay. He's uber he is gay. detailed, you know, yeah. designed after Dracula, who was definitely gay. You yeah. don't wear a cape like that. No, <laughs> and not be gay. And don't twirl around with I mean, the cape. you're flaming. You don't, <laughs> you don't cover your mouth. One, one cock in my ass. Uh, 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 uh. Dude, <laughs> I've only ever got to four. Oh my god, that's so gross! You're fucking some skinny dudes. I guess oh, so. not all at once. Or a huge uh, cock. Yeah, right. They're very long. Yeah, they're so long. They all stand back and yeah. flexible. And they're, and they're counting out loud when they're fucking. Oh yeah, oh one hundred percent. A lot of people yeah. don't know that about the gay community. Their dicks are like silly straws. <laughs> 
That's stereotypical. Uh, right. Anyway, yeah, that's that's not racist. Not right. At all. <laughs> not racist. Jesus Christ. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Thank you very much. Also, JP. No, thank you, you're, man, you're for so, allowing me to be here. You're fucking spectacular. I, I don't that. care what everybody else says about you. Thank you, man. Uh, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Keep on doing what you're doing, helping this show grow, which is crazy because it's it Dude, just it's keeps growing it, like my boner. That's well, yeah, it's gross. Uh, but thank you guys so very much. We the show is huge. <laughs> it's huge. Uh, but we thank you very much. Keep on doing what you're doing. As, as as we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, I hope your mom has to give you the Heimlich because you're choking on your own dick scab. <laughs> oh, my God. That's disgusting. If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, save big money. Have another. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see you all later. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>